Internet nightmares, come on down. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. eBay, it's like that odd kid in elementary school, Travis, that carried around a backpack full of nightmares. He had feathers, unidentified goo, and at least one homemade sculpture made out of baby teeth. I was simultaneously afraid of and fascinated by Travis. Uh, and I feel the same way about today's episode. That's right, Link, because we've scoured the weird backpack of the internet, eBay, and found the strangest things it has to offer, all in the name of one of our favorite games. It's time for Guess That Price on eBay for that weird thing. Please welcome our first and only guest who can't get sloppy mouth kisses from grandma on account of his mouth herpes, it's Link Neal! Hey, hey, welcome back, man. Yeah, it's good to... Good to be here on the on the show and reprising her starring role as the woman who woman's the board, Stevie. Thank you. Hey, Stevie. Hey, it's been so long since I've been standing here next to a board I and know. doing this. So much fun. Look at this. It's like old times. Okay, Link. You remember? I'm gonna how be this good is, at this. You remember how this is played, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you. Thirty-five dollars. Too early. I'm gonna tell you about an eBay item, a weird eBay item, and then I'm gonna give you the option between two different prices as what it might be. Yeah. And if you get five of these right, you get either one dollar or what's in the mystery box. Ooh, you know I'm gonna use that mystery box. All right, first up is vintage, large, one-of-a-kind, creepy ceramic finger, weird oddity, unusual odd. <laughs> oh gosh. That is the official name. That's the seller funny. describes it as an unusual conversation piece to put in your collection of oddities. I've never seen anything like it, and it appears to be homemade. Again, that's all from the seller. Uh, Ooh. It, is the asking price $35 or $350? Well, I'm, I'm trying to get a sense of scale using the size of those bricks. Assuming those are standard, uh, size bricks. Assume those are standard size And that bricks. is a big freaking witch finger, man. I mean, gosh, does it come with the, d the desk underneath it? I mean, I do have a giant toe at home just like this, but a finger, that's just plain weird. <laughs> You're actually not lying. I've seen it, and it is weird. Mm -hmm. I also uh, have a whale vertebrae. $35, and and large don't start bragging chain. about all the crap you've got. Hey, I'm just saying. $350, I think that thing's paper mache. I think somebody wants to get rid of it. They, I don't know. $35. All okay, right, let me let's open this see. window thing. Ready? Yeah. Just mm. like old times, you're wrong. $350 for a big ugly finger? I mean, that thing's, it's homemade. I, I Did you not a, hear? It's homemade. I give a finger to that finger. All right, next item. We've got Lorenzo Hudson, star of USPS commercial, signed modeling poster. Now, if you're one of the millions of people who don't know who Lorenzo Hudson is, don't feel too bad. He's a model that appeared in a commercial for the US Postal Service that aired during the Super Bowl last year. The seller says this headshot of Lorenzo is a truly unique mm -hmm. add to your collection. How much will it cost to have this little slice of Hollywood in your home? $2,500 or $5,000? What? Those are your options, Link. What? I don't even see the signature. Uh, it's on there. I think it's on his shoulder. I, I don't know where it is. Lorenzo Maybe it's on the back. Lorenzo Hudson. Uh, while you're contemplating that, I want to let you know that a new fancy fast food dropped today over on the Mythical Kitchen channel. Go watch it. Not now. Later. Check it out and subscribe. Oh, dang. Look at all the stuff. See We're releasing I, on the end. Yeah, I slipped that little promo in there while you're thinking about I mean, the $2,500 you know, or $5,000. Should I start going against my instincts or should I be confirmed that my instincts are bad? That's early. It is kind of early. My instincts tell me that this is stupid and that's stupid, but this is approximately half as stupid, hmm. which is still a lot of stupid. So I'm going with half as stupid, but still too stupid, $2,500. Always go full stupid, Link. Always go full stupid. Is this a joke? I mean, <laughs> no one actually bought this. Hopefully. That's what it is listed as. Remember, this isn't what it was sold as. This is what it is listed as. Man, this is Lorenzo himself. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. All right, you're over two. Here's the next item. This is the vintage long legs doll, bendy cloth, 24 inches, stuffed unusual weird baby. The seller describes the doll as cuddly in her own way, pretty in face, creepy in body with elongated limbs, <laughs> which incidentally is how Stevie described herself on her resume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. <Creepy> in body. <laughs> 
<laughs> elongated limbs. Uh, What's Mindy? it selling for? Thirty-five dollars or seventy-nine ninety-nine? Okay, we're back in the realm of reasonable. I mean, <laughs> this thing is two foot tall. Hmm, how much would I pay for this little Stevie? <laughs> Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> uh, 30 <Please. laughs> so my instincts tell me, I think you could get away with seventy-nine ninety-nine, and I've already decided I'm going to be going against my instincts. Mm. And I'm saying thirty-five dollars. All right. Oh, <coughs> the yes! streak is broken. Going against my instincts. <laughs> I'm actually kind of sad that I won. What's happening? All right, thirty-five dollars. <laughs> you were right, Link. Let's see the next item. This is the ultra rare goldfish triplets in jewelry box. What? This is an exact product description. So not really sure why, but I had a dream that I sold goldfish on eBay to make money to start my business. And the very next day I came home, there were these three goldfish at the top of the box I opened. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm nuts, or maybe this is a sign. I won't lie to you, I see no value in them except the funny prank putting them in a jewelry box I found. Are they worth 100,000? Absolutely not, but my dream is priceless and I'm poro. <laughs> so if you feel like blowing money on these, you would be giving a young guy a real chance of living his dreams of starting a company. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot a message, thank you. Okay, okay, thanks for the novel. Are these golden triplets listed as $199.99 or did this goldfish glutton go for the gold and ask for the full 200 bucks? Okay, okay. <laughs> I on. love these. Come on, I man. love it when we do this. Now, so this is three goldfish fused together. If you were presented with these at the top of the box, Stevie. At the top of the box? Would you pull them the out top and just- of the goldfish would box. You, would, you, would you just <laughs> pop it in your mouth and eat it? Or would you break them apart and eat them one at a time? I tend to just uh, stare forward and shove snacks in, so I would uh -huh. just eat them all together and not notice it. <laughs> stare you forward and shove snacks knowing. in. Step forward and shove it in. I'm guessing, oh gosh, I'm gonna go with my instincts again. Okay, all right. With that essay, I think the 99 cent thing is like a little added humor. This guy's looking for every turn to be an opportunity for, for a little laugh. Mm -hmm. And he got a little giggle out of that. Yeah. 199.99. Your reasoning was sound, but your answer was wrong. Okay. All right, Link. Well, just, I'm just gonna stare forward and shove it in. Shove away. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Our next item is a 30 plus year old condom Ooh. found in a record sleeve. In a record sleeve? Yes, this 1989 Protex Contracept Plus condom was found in a record sleeve purchased at a flea market. The date on the back reads 6189. You remember that day, Link? The day you turned 11. <laughs> it's got my birthday on a condom. And in case you were wondering, it should be stored at room temperature. <laughs> That's kind of ironic to have your birthday on a condom. What's the price on this Jimmy hat, Jack? $1 or $7. Okay, this is a steal either way. Now, it, keep in mind, it comes with anti-sperm anti -sperm formula. formula which was also my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know how that makes sense, I'm sorry. Oh gosh. One dollar or seven dollars? I mean, seven dollars is still a steal, but you know what? I'm going against my instincts. One dollar. That's yeah, the way it works, My Link. instincts were right for being wrong, all again. Right. You gotta get all the rest of these right, so. I can do it. Let's take a look at the next item. The Dimitri vodka bottle full of cigarette ashes. <laughs> Took years to fill, 1989 to 1993. Okay, so you got some vintage cigarette butts in a vintage vodka. Yeah, how much for this barren booze bottle brimming with blistered butts? $195.09 or 1959. This is both weird scenarios of money. Uh, yeah, a lot of work went into this. It represents, I think someone who's selling it still has a sweet spot in their heart for it and that they're gonna price it pretty high for no good reason, except sentimental value. But I'm going against my instincts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. once again, because they always fail me, which is great, 1959. 
<laughs> it's a tricky game, Link. It's a tricky thing. I tell you, I'm sorry. I feel I'm, bad I'm, for you. I'm waffling a lot. You know what? If you get all the rest of these right, I'm still going to give you what's in the mystery Thank books. you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, the next item. Prison art. Ooh, nice. Now, this is real art created by real prisoners. Okay. Uh, this is a hot commodity on eBay. Mona Lisa, huh? Look at this Mona Lisa mommy drawn by a tortured artist who may or may not have tortured someone in real life. I don't know. I don't know what he did. Yeah. Um, okay, how much is Leonardo da Clinky <laughs> asking for $20 or a cool 2000 this thing measures six by nine inches, and it's on art paper. <laughs> six by nine? That's like a that's like a little photograph. You think that's six inches? I think that's about six by nine right there. Four by six is a photograph. Six by nine. There you go. Okay. Um, it's not great. That's not a great rendering. Uh, but maybe it was the f pencil's fault. Uh, no way is two. I mean, two thousand dollars when you say, "Well, you know, someone in prison drew it." You know, that's when you're pointing it out when you yeah, frame yeah, it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, people yeah. walk by, right. and you're like, "Well, uh -huh. yep. I'll pay two two grand for it," yeah. but you know, someone in prison yeah, drew yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yep, yep. Got to so, get this right to keep the dream alive. So, you want me to guess two thousand? But I'm gonna go against my instincts to to succumb to your manipulation, and I'm gonna say. The fair price is 20, but then I'm gonna go against that and say yes, for some reason they want two grand for this. Let's reveal it. Mm. It was just 20. <laughs> okay, You're Link. messing with me, man. If you get this you last item get that. right, I'm gonna give you the choice between a <laughs> dollar or the mystery, mystery box. box. The last item is a vintage Mr. Big Mouth Amusement Park Circus Sideshow Trash Garbage Can. Ooh, that's... Who apparently swallows everything. Okay, you put your trash in his mouth. Okay, I Link, get it. Again, this is what's on the line. Either a dollar? Oh, you, you, you want to get Stevie to move it? Because, I mean... Stevie, could you, yes. hand, yes. could you hand Link the mystery yes. box? Yes. Thank you. That's, that's what's on the line. Thank you. What's in the mystery box or it's the dollar? Light. Is this thing worth $799.99? Uh. Or a whopping seventeen hundred dollars and ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine ninety nine. Good gosh, so eight hundred or eighteen hundred. How big is that, Rhett? I don't have a scale, but keep in mind that this was a follow up to the much less successful vintage Mister Smallmouth Amusement Park Circus Sideshow Trash Garbage Can. Because the Smallmouth, you couldn't get a lot of things in there except yeah. cotton swabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just disturbing. Like how his eyes are closed and his mouth is open. It's just weird. Um, yeah. Would you like this in your house? Man, no. <laughs> so there. I mean, I'm choo I want to choose the the least of the two, but then I want to go against my instinct, and then I want to go against going against my instinct. But that's. I don't really track any longer as to what I can rely on. This is a complicated. So I am gonna go with $1,799.99, okay. which do doesn't make sense. But, oh you're saying, you're, that's. <laughs> you're gonna stick with that, huh? Okay. Yeah, you know what, I'll switch. $800. All right, let's see. You're, okay. Let's see. You were right! Yeah! yeah! I'll take yes! the mystery box! All right, open Keep it your up. dollar. Now, Link, I want to let you know, we tried to get the condom, but it got lost in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> so really? instead, we got this. You tried to get the condom. This is taxidermy frogs playing shooting pool man cave billiards, real frogs, P1. P1? How much do we pay for this? Twenty four ninety five. Those are real frogs? Real frogs, P1. Congratulations, Link, you earned it. How do they even pull like that? I don't know, I think they just look for it and shove it in. All right, <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Mike. I'm Mike. I'm Zach. And we're skiing at Crystal Mountain in Northern Michigan, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Didn't you think the last guy was gonna say Mike? Mike, yeah. Should've Mike, changed it to Mike. Mike. Zach. Click the top link to watch us play Haunted or Hell of a Deal in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Willem Mythicality is gonna land. I feel like, what? Oh! oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, Ben. 
This is why I can't have nice things. 